Hi, and welcome to this Green Tailor Partners video on taxable payment annual reporting in your MYOB new essential software. The taxable payment annual reporting has been around for a number of years now. It initially started primarily for the building and construction services industry, but it was later then expanded to a number of other industries. The industries now include the building and construction services, cleaning services, courier and road freight services, information technology services, and security investigation or surveillance services. Those entities that are required to report are required by the 28th of August each year to have reported all subcontractors or contractors they have utilised throughout the year. The aim of this video is not to help you assess whether you're required to be registered, more so how to actually utilise the software to, to do your annual reporting. Now, in the case of MYOB, the reporting is actually done throughout the year. Every time you do a spend money or a purchase entry, there is a tick box to mark to say that this entry is a reportable entry. This commonly can be done by when you set up your contacts. So if you've got your contacts, such as I've got Jacob Smith here, there's a tick box to say that they are to be reported with payments to the ATO. Now, by doing that, every time we do a spend money entry or a purchase and we choose that person, it will default the tick to report them to ATO via TPAR. Now, in the case of a one-off entry to Jacob, say, such as we bought materials or hide equipment from him rather than labour, we could simply untick that if it's not required to be reported at the end of the year. Just going back to our dashboard. So normally to do the reporting, we simply go to reports. So reporting and reports, taxable payment annual report. We ensure we've got the correct financial year up the top here. And it, the software will show us all those pe people of which we've had entries recorded throughout the year. It is ideal then to review each of the entries under each of the employees, or you should say subcontractors. So Jacob has three entries. Harry has three as well. And Bill's building services, they have two. Now, another good option is to ensure that you haven't missed anyone. Just maybe have a look at your suppliers and just check that, it, are you happy they're all there? Alternatively, you could actually go and do a report such as a profit and loss. And have a look at what expenses you would have put your subcontractors under, such as contract work expense. Now, another benefit of using your descriptions in your software is you can run your eye down this report and make sure, is there anything that jumps out of you? And here we go. We're looking at our subcontractor expenses or contract work expense here, and I've found an entry for freight, which I might just make sure, has that been reported? If I look under the transaction, drilling into it, no, it's not reporting. But I may reconsider, is that freight actually put to the correct item? In this case, it's not a worry because it's not reporting anyway. If you had a situation where you were missing entries for a particular contact, one quick way to add them is to go to reporting, so reports, and use the account transactions area. Within this, within this report, you can go report options, contacts, and you might specifically go and choose Harry McClure, because we're not sure that we've actually picked up all Harry's entries. Click apply, and then only entries where Harry McClure had been used will appear here. We see, yes, there are only the three there. 
So if we're happy we have got everyone ready for our reporting, we can go back to our taxable payments annual report and simply create our taxable payments file. So when we create the file, we put our business particular names and these should follow in from our file setup that you make sure your business name, trade name, business address, the contacts, so the person will be lodging the form, their phone number, email, the business's ABN, and then you would download the file. This file can then be imported into the ATO business portal and lodged directly with the ATO. If you do not have ATO business portal access, you'll have to contact the ATO and order the manual paperwork. From that paperwork, you would transpose the details of each of these suppliers and the applicable money being the amounts paid to them, the tax with, that was included in those amounts and complete that form and send to the ATO. Again, this must all be completed by the 28th of August. We trust this video has been of assistance in you reporting your taxable payment annual reporting with your MYB Essentials. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.